Freemasonry that is rituals and symbols, myths and secrets, and great names like Voltaire, Montesquieu, Washington, Goethe, Mozart, Churchill or Roosevelt. The ideas of the Freemasons about freedom, human rights, democracy, separations of powers and the rule of law were revolutionary and dangerous in the Age of Enlightenment 300 years ago. With our museum, we want to give a face to national and international Freemasonry. Our museum should not be simply an exhibition of Masonic requisites, but above all, show and make known the ethical values of Freemasons and their worldwide association. Historically, the Freemasons trace themselves back to the stonemasons of the medieval building lodges. The stonemasons work the stone with their tools. The Freemason works on his own rough stone, symbolically working his own rough edges. Classical Freemasonry wants to accompany and also advance man in his ethical development and on his way to an independent, responsible personality. It does this with the help of rituals and symbols. The museum shows the origin and development of Freemasonry. It also wants to show that Freemasonry has quite a significant impact on our society and culture. The museum displays exhibits from three centuries, historical writings, symbols and ritual objects. The design of the museum is the architectural rendering of the Masonic spirit. Welcoming to the people, perhaps surprisingly modern, in a clear design language and decorated with symbols of our fraternity. Open spaces come to life with the thoughts and experiences of the visitors. The guests are led through exhibits and pragmatic settings to the question, who am I and what do I do? The Masonic Museum Switzerland is a member of the National Swiss Museum Association and the International Association of Masonic Museums, Libraries and Archives. At the time of our opening, we were just seven Masonic brothers managing the museum. Now, over 40 brothers and sisters Freemasons volunteer their time to the museum. These volunteer brother masons include an increasing number of experienced guides who offer tours in five languages and answer visitors' questions. The typical visitor to our museum is the older couple from Bern or from anywhere in Switzerland. Freemasons are, of course, also welcome. They come from all over the world. You could split the visitors into two groups. One is interested in the history, in the structure in our Grand Lodge Alpina. The other group is interested in the conspiracy theories and ask questions like, do we drink blood from skulls? In addition to information for the public, the museum also offers services for Freemasons and lodges. Le musée. The museum plays three important roles for Freemasonry in general and the Grand Lodge Albina in particular. It informs the public about Freemasonry, it clarifies prejudices and it is a valuable educational tool for instructing young Masons. The museum is open every Saturday and during the week for private and group tours on request. <laughs>